I'm going to be using two key ingredients to make a fabulous salad, lentil and beetroot. And it just sounds a bit simple, doesn't it? But with a delicious creme fraiche dressing with balsamic vinegar and charred beetroot, this salad is really a showstopper. So let's get our lentils on first. I like to use puy lentils. These are French lentils. They're light green lentils, but they're much smaller and I think they've got a better flavour. So they go straight into a pot and you can flavour this. You could use some stock if you like, but I'm going to keep it really simple and add some water. So we want water enough to cover the lentils and you want to give your lentils a little wash before you cook them. Now, don't season your lentils because what will happen is they'll go tough and it'll take forever to cook. So we'll season them later on. So we're just going to bring that to the boil and then turn it down and allow it to simmer for about 15 to 20 minutes or until they're just tender. Now, I've got a big char grill pan on here and it's been heating up for about 10 minutes. It's very, very hot because I want to get some flavour, I want to get some smokiness into the beetroot. Now, these beetroot are huge, so you can use any type of small beetroot or a medium beetroot. If you've got really large ones like this, I'm going to cut them into eights and do give them a wash because I'm going to leave the skin on too. You can peel it if you like and look at the colour. Isn't that just fantastic? You know that's good for you. And so now I'm going to cut that in half and then into four wedges. If you've got smaller ones, just cut them in half, but essentially we're looking for this size. Great. Now we need to season this and add a little bit of oil. So into a bowl and be prepared because it is going to stain your hands a little bit. They are beetroot. You can use some gloves or what you need to do is just rub some salt and some lemon together and that does the trick too. So salt and olive oil, good glug of olive oil here. Fantastic. And then we just want to give them a little toss to coat them all. And when I'm grilling, I don't add oil to my grill pan. I make sure that I do it in the bowl just like this. So I've got a thin film of olive oil over each piece of vegetable. I don't want it to be swimming in the oil. So just a light fry here. So onto our hot grill. You can see this is smoking hot. You can see it's hot too because of the, the red dot in the centre there. The thermo spot is bright red. At this stage, we're not cooking the beetroot. What I'm doing is imparting flavour, so a char-grilled flavour here. So this is going to take about ooh, three to four minutes on each side until we get those lovely grill marks on the beetroot. Beautiful grill marks, the smell is fantastic, it's smoky, it's earthy, really smelling the beetroot now. So into a baking tray and I've preheated my oven to 180 degrees. Now these are going to take a bit of time to cook, about 30 to 45 minutes. Again, depending on what type of beetroot, if you've got some young beetroot, it'll cook faster. But you just want it to be tender when you pierce it with a skewer. Also, don't forget at this stage to add some fennel. I've just toasted these lightly. Fennel and beetroot, a wonderful combination. And just to help it cook, a little bit of water. So, oh, I'd say a quarter of a cup of water. And some glad foil straight over the top. We'll seal it tightly and we'll let them cook. Now you can see that these lentils are completely cooked. They don't look that appealing, but I love the taste of lentils. They're a great substitute for rice and pasta and even mashed potatoes. In general, they're really high in protein. Now let's have a look at our beetroot. Oh, look at that. You can see that they've shrunk a little bit there and the smell, the fennel with the beetroot, just divine. Now let's get my tongs here. This is cooled down slightly. So everything is just warm. It's a warm salad and they can go in. And because they've been charred and roasted, they won't bleed into the lentils. Everything will stay that nice colour. Now let's transfer over to one of these and then just give it a toss. These French shallots I will add 
and I need loads of herbs for this. So a combination of parsley and some dill. Dill and beetroot, again, really nice together. So I've got about half a bunch of each and I probably won't use the whole lot here. I'll probably just use half of this and you wanna add a little bit more of the parsley to the dill because the dill has a really strong flavour. Okay, that's a perfect amount. And into the bowl. And just for some crunch, I've got some walnuts here. Now I've just toasted a small handful and I'm just going to crumble them in. You can leave some whole and break a few up. And you may be saying, what about the dressing? Well, the dressing for me is the best part. A combination of creme fraiche and sweet balsamic vinegar. And I've just got a little jar here to make it a little easier. And I'll add a few big dollops of this creme fraiche to the jar. Perfect. And then our balsamic vinegar. And of course, always a little bit of salt and a touch of pepper. Great. Lid goes on. And we'll give that a really good shake. Okay, that is ready. So let's have a look. Perfect, look how thick that is. That can go straight into our beetroot mix here. And I'll add a little bit of olive oil now just to make everything a little bit more glossy. And now we can toss this salad. So very gently get all that dressing in amongst those lentils there. See everything's just been coated. It is a real showstopper. And the best thing about this is it's not a cold salad, it's a warm salad. If you're serving it, serve it warm. Those flavours will really come through a little bit more. That is not just any beetroot salad. That's a very fancy beetroot salad. It's got loads of flavour.